Ooh, hello there, General Kitty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, careful. Oh, Kitty, watch out. You need to let me get in before we say hello. Please don't trip me again. Uh, come on, Kitty, I want to get these shoes off. Just hang on for a moment, okay? Will you come here and sit pretty for me while I take my shoes off? Uh, okay, fine then. Run outside if you really want to. Nobody's holding you here. Oh, you want back in already? Are you full of regret or do you just like to make demands? Hmm. That's fine, your majesty. Please allow me to open the door for you. Now, if it's all right with you, I'll put this mail down on the table and we can start our hangout evening. Have you been looking forward to it all day? Oh, you just woke up. I should have known. Kitty is best known for the catnap. That's okay. I have been looking forward to spending the night inside. That commute today was brutal. Yes, I do always have trouble in that part of town. No, I didn't go there specifically to get that stack of paper. That was in the mailbox, and that part of town is just in my way. There's no going around it, only through. Why are you pawing at the mail, Kitty? Are you interested in it? I'll let you investigate if you want. It's not all available to be your new toy. You can have this chunk of flyers. Do you want to play with these, Kitty? All right. This one's actually kind of a big deal. Well, why is it a big deal? Well, that's because of who it's from. Can you read who it's from? No, Kitty, you don't read with your paws like that. Sheesh. Let me open it. It's a bill. Who's Bill? Well, it's our Bill, Kitty. Why haven't you met him? Oh, no, Kitty. You misunderstood. It's not a person named Bill sending us a letter. Somebody sent us a bill that we need to pay. In this particular case, it's the power company. You like having power, right? Of course you do. You wouldn't be able to play videos on the internet if you didn't have it. If we are going to keep having that as an option, then we need to pay this bill. Thankfully, at least we can say it's in line with our typical power usage. You see these bars right here? No, Kitty, you don't see things with your teeth. I do like your approach, but it's not going to help. Fighting these pieces of paper isn't going to change the fact that we need to pay this, Kitty. And even if it did, would you fight off every bill that comes in? <laughs> yes, Kitty. I absolutely believe you can fend off all of those pesky bills as they come. But truthfully, you could destroy every piece of paper that comes into that mailbox, and I will still be obligated to pay these. We don't want to pay them with blocks. We've got big plans for our blocks anyways. We need to pay the bills with real money. Oh no, your face just got so sad. Why are you so sad, kitty? Because you don't have any real money. Well, I suppose that's a pretty normal reason to be sad, kitty. But you are not supposed to be worried about that right now. I can't have a sad kitty moping about the house. What if I just make this bill go away? Watch. I'll use my magical powers to make it disappear. Okay, maybe I don't have any real magic yet, but... If I put this up on the fridge, you will have a much easier time moving on. Well, why aren't you going to move on, kitty? 
Oh, you want to help pay the bills too? Well, why don't you write us some stories? If you do really well and write a great story, you could become the famous author Kitty. Would you like that? Well, you could write stories about anything. Do you remember that squirrel you saw on the balcony the other day? You didn't just chase that squirrel away, kitty. You protected the safety of our home. That squirrel was invading us, kitty. You were the hero there. And maybe you could write a story that the internet would love to read. It's only going to be a boring story if you don't make the choice to tell it. Besides, you can spice up a few of the details and no one will know. How would they know? If my memory serves me correctly, that vicious squirrel that attacked us had blue fur, didn't he? <laughs> that is a great idea, Kitty. You could say that that squirrel was responsible for the landslide at Laundry Mountain. That was a truly perilous day. But thanks to the wonderful Nico of Lore, who adventures through the kingdom of chores, the townspeople were saved. They rejoiced, and a legend was born. What do you think, Kitty? Could you write that story for us? If you do, I will draw some cute little pictures to go with it. We will slap it together and call it a kid's book. Everyone will love it, and we won't even need to use AI to make it happen. How about you work on that while I go set up an experiment? You and I are about to settle a debate between Skipjack and Albacore. <laughs>